What's up guys? So with all these NFTs and cryptocurrencies taking over the world, it only makes sense that we get paid in crypto. I mean, who wouldn't want to be broke and then rich? And then broke and then rich? And then broke and then... But recently, I saw that Odell Beckham Jr. had chosen to get half his Rams contract paid in Bitcoin. Basically, whatever amount he signed for, he would get half of that in Bitcoin. Apparently, he got this deal done with Cash App. He posted on his Twitter, thanks to Cash App, I'm taking my new salary in Bitcoin. And that was back in November of last year. Fast forward to yesterday, and it looks like OBJ might have to get a second job along with the Rams. Because instead of making a potential 750000 he's making only just above 35 k now I get that you're in LA and no one's gonna fuck you unless you have some Bitcoin, but you're also an NFL player who signs contracts worth millions of dollars. Do you think the average person gets offered that? I asked my old job to pay me in a McDonald's gift card once and they almost fired me. But if you're asking why he's only making that much, it's because when he signed the deal, Bitcoin was worth just above $64,000. But as of yesterday, it's worth half that. Not only that, but he gets taxed on the original amount of $750,000. Now I'm not gonna say I wouldn't like $750,000 in Bitcoin, I mean who wouldn't? But when you're you're already making that much doesn't even matter like i get it if maybe they got a couple bitcoin but seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth what are you gonna buy a child off the dark web what are people even spending bitcoin on a tesla you know you can get that with money right the same thing you used to get Bitcoin? And Odell isn't even the first one to do this. There have been other players like Aaron Jones and Trevor Lawrence that have signed the same kind of contract. What's crazy about the deal Trevor Lawrence signed, and if I'm reading this correctly, his bonus money from the contract he signed is going into a crypto savings account. And if he played well and not like Brucey from The Longest Yard, that could have been up to $24 million in Bitcoin. Cryptocurrency, whatever the fuck. And for what? Having 24 million in Bitcoin is like having 24 million in cash. And I know y'all gonna be like, oh, but the Bitcoin increases. Tell that to Odell, who once had enough to buy a mansion, but now can't even buy a 2020 Tahoe. And honestly, I don't even know how Bitcoin even works. To me, it's just money you can't hold that loses its value more than it gains. I had to buy Bitcoin once, and I shit you not, by the time I was finished buying the Bitcoin, the amount changed that much to where I needed to buy more to buy the thing I wanted with Bitcoin. And I get that you're taking that chance for it to double or even triple, but this idiot bought it at its peak. This man's all risk and no reward. And again, maybe I just don't understand Bitcoin well enough to know that he's in it for the long run, or that just by making it to the NFC Championship game, he's made all his money back and then some. He is a free agent at the end of the season, so let's see if his new contract is going to be structured the same. Once again, shout out to Phantom for the video idea. See you guys on Saturday, if not next week, because the Bengals made it to the AFC Championship game, and that's all that's going to be on my mind. Peace.